And welcome back to WSHIT, where we continue Saturday night's feature presentation, Karen, Private Detective. Let's pick up where we left off as Karen has discovered a local neighborhood man has packages from Amazon. Clearly, something nefarious must be going on. Fear not, young rangers. Karen, private detective, is on the beat. You're taking my my property. Well, you know, there's been a lot of comings and goings of UPS trucks in this neighborhood. What about what about a that? A lot of packages coming so? to this house, particular. Well, something's going on in there. Something's so, going on. So in it's there. just no, Amazon. I'm taking the package. It's my Amazon I'm wish sir, list. I'm taking the package. No, you're not taking no, my package. I am, That's no, my excuse stuff. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, me. Hey. You I killed me. I did not you kill you. Kill You're fine. Oh my God. Just an update on Karen's condition. She is not, in fact, dead. We'll be back after this commercial break. Hi, Brian and Creed. Just wanted to let you know that the Latinos are listening to the commercial break, and we love you. Best to you. Lo mejor para ustedes. On this episode of The Commercial Break. A guy who owns a company who manages influencers documents the process of making them fake famous. Hmm. How does he do that? Well, it's very simple, quite frankly. He buys them followers, Hmm. he buys them engagement, and he buys them likes. So the (laughs) it's unbelievable. Well, it's simple enough. It sounds simple enough. Money... If you get the money. Here's the crazy part. It fucking works. It worked. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Yeah, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Anybody who says, if you know what I mean, after they're saying it, yes. you clearly don't understand what they're saying. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? He didn't want people to come in because, <laughs> you know what I mean? Are you understanding what I'm saying? I, I say that to Astrid all the time. I kind of didn't. Yeah. I just wanted to see uh, what you thought. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How did you feel about that last sentence? It's still under review in my head. I'm wondering how it played out in yours. (laughs) I tell you what, I'll start you out by the teddy bear, but it's a build-up game. The more shots you hit, the bigger your prize. All right? I tell you what, spin the five. Tell you what, spin the five. Watch what I do for you, big guy. I have no money in my wallet. You have no money in your wallet. I'm not joking. Big guy. That was just bad, bad. Where's your friend at? Maybe he can help you out. We're friends of four. That's exciting. Like some weed hey. dealers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I used to right. deal with. <laughs> yeah, Ryan, I, hey. I'm here at the bust a balloon. Yeah, <laughs> I really need. I'm play. being held hostage at the bust a balloon. You got a five dollar. <laughs> the next episode of the commercial break starts now. Oh, it's another episode uh, of the commercial break. Oh yeah, woo! Yes. We're here. We're here. We made it. We made it. We did it. We're on episode whatever. No one cares. <laughs> no We're on Fireside, one though. cares. We're on Fireside. We're live on Fireside today, actually. Yeah. And uh, welcome aboard. Welcome aboard all the Firesiders listening to the commercial break being recorded live. You, too, can join in by downloading the Fireside chat app. We're going to be going live for our 100th episode, and we'd like you to be included. Make sure you... Uh, Write in your brain. Give yourself a little message. Write it down on a sticky note. You know, like people write mantras on their on their mirrors. Yes. And the, yes. I want you to write your favorite segment from the commercial break, mm-hmm. and then I want you to write the transcript of it. Best It'll to say like you. best to you. You know, write it down. Whatever it's Henry Fonda. Whatever your favorite segment. Yes. Is. P- Preacher. Shamalama Ding Dong. <laughs> Whatever your favorite episode is, let us know because we're going to be asking on the 100th episode and I'm going to drop in some of those clips because you hate, hate, hate the best of shows. I'm going to do it a little <laughs> bit differently. I'm going to still try and sneak in a best of, but I'm going to do it differently with fresh content twiled in, twiled in, twiled. <laughs> What's a twile? Twine. <laughs> it's been a twile yeah. since I saw you. <laughs> it's been a twile since we've hung out, hasn't it? It was. It was the twile before Christmas. <laughs> I'm gonna yes. I'm gonna intertwine a little bit of that stuff in in there, and then you can go. So do- download the Fireside Fireside Chat app. Go to www.tcbpodcast.com. You can find out more about Chrissy and I. Read all the show notes, listen to all the audio, and watch all the video all from one place. youtubecom slash break is where you watch all of the videos. And to be entered into our next contest to win a grand prize. All you have to do is go to episode number 85 and watch the videos all the way through. You'll get some Easter eggs. Some clues are embedded in there. Write down those clues. When I ask the question, you'll know the answer. And that 
you'll send to us and we'll be uh, entered into the next gold dot gift card gift bit bit bit. <laughs> Gold dot gift card giveaway. Yes. My brain's working faster than my mouth is. You ever yes. have that experience? I have. Yeah. It yes. happens to me a lot. People are like, you talk fast, You're man. You're running. You're running. I know. I'm running, running, running. My mouth can't keep up with my brain. And Instagram at the commercial break. Please do follow us for content you cannot get anywhere else. I watched an interesting movie the other day with my with Astrid uh, called that? Fake Famous. Have you seen Fake, Fake Famous? Fake Famous. Is that about the influencers? Yes, it's about the influencers. Yes. So it's a basic social experiment, and here's how it goes. And it's then it's documented. Here's how it goes. Three relatively obscure people on Instagram who wish to be influencers mm-hmm. but are not influencers. They have less than 5,000 followers. They're aspiring influencers. A guy who owns a company who manages influencers – documents the process of making them fake famous. Right. How does he do that? Well, it's very simple, quite frankly. He buys them followers, mm. he buys them engagement, and he buys them likes. So the exper- <laughs> okay. it's well, unbelievable. Well, it's sounds well, simple enough. It sounds simple enough. Money, just if you get the money. Here's the crazy part. It fucking works. It works. So two of the guys drop out. One of the guys is from here in Atlanta. He's okay. a gay guy. And he gets upset because he starts getting trolled by his old gay friends here in Atlanta saying, ah. you know, like, you you're know, fake. hey, girl, uh, <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't get those 40,000 followers yeah. overnight. We know that you're, something's up. But he can't say anything because he's part of the social experiment right. and he has agreed not to say anything until it's over. He gets so upset by the trolls and by the fact that everyone starts calling him fake Hate or not me. everyone, but a couple people that he bows out quickly in the experiment. The other guy says, I would rather have 100 real followers than. 10,000 fake ones. I just don't feel good about this. Yeah. And he starts deleting the followers, the fake followers. The third girl becomes famous. Okay. She actually becomes famous. She starts making money on her Instagram and she becomes an actual influencer, even though a so majority kind of like kindling to a fire. Kind of, if you will. Yeah. Kind of like if you start the with a little kindling and then the smoke and if, if rubbing yeah, it together, if, they're, if you build it, they will come. And it's, then it she just gets goes. Real. She, she gets real ones. She got real followers from because the fake followers Made alerted like other people that she was an actual influence. Right, right. This to me, so I, I'm watching this and I am just like <laughs> everything's an illusion. It it all is an illusion, <laughs> and the companies like Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, they have absolutely zero incentive to stop this from happening. Right. Why? Because they are making billions and billions of dollars selling advertisement and stock. To people who look for engagement and follower mm-hmm. numbers, they're mm-hmm. everyone's happy. The shareholders who are spending, you know, who are essentially making these guys billionaires, are like, "Cool, we don't give a shit, right?" Well, the, and if it's good content, though, I mean, then the real followers kind of are like, "Well, this is good." Yes, I, I, I mean, yes, but it is an illusion because it what is. they point out is when, as they're making these people famous, they put them on photo shoots and stuff like this. Mm-hmm. They set up these photo shoots to appear as if they're in these wonderful locations doing these wonderful things. Right. It's all fake. All mm-hmm. of it is fake. They'll be in like someone's, oh, you know, some guy's backyard <laughs> yeah. in the suburbs and they'll say they're at, you know, Chateau Marmont in fucking Italy. Mm-hmm. It's not true. But no one... No one bothers to check. It doesn't really fucking matter. The brands who are buying the advertisements can't tell the difference anyway by some estimation. So there's a there's a guy. So you're telling me we should buy followers. I was like, <laughs> Astrid. I'm t- I was like, Astrid, this is fucking crazy. Yeah. We are playing a game we can never win. Mm-hmm. We are just sitting here. We've gotten five Organic growth. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> who cares about real followers? Yeah. If we got 500 real followers in just a couple of months, right? Now, that's nothing. It's nothing. There is, our account on Instagram is shit. We have yeah. hundreds of thousands of people listening to the podcast. No one gives a shit about our Instagram. No. And we, as try as we might, we cannot get these people to convert to that thing, right? Yeah. So I'm like, if we're playing this game that, and everybody else is playing a different game, we don't, we're not even playing by the same set of rules. Right. Like, how would we ever get real there are no real Instagram users. They're all just fake. Some guy got on there and he's like a power broker to the stars for organic, quote unquote, organic followers. And he says, I have bought some of the top 10 most famous Instagram stars in the world, 50 to 60% of their traffic, mm. 50 to 60% of their traffic. And That's while wild. they don't name them, 
they are showing pictures of Kylie of the the you know Kylie Jenner and Kim Kardashian the mm-hmm. entire time. So you can only, I'm, I'm assuming yeah. without saying it, they're making the connection. So uh, at the commercial break on Instagram, if you want to follow <laughs> us, if you if you follow us now, we'll mark right. you as organic. If you follow us today. Before and we have 40,000 followers tonight. Fake. Yes. I mean, why not? <laughs> why wouldn't we do that? Yeah. It's just so crazy. Uh, and I do have to say, I do have to mention this before we get into the meat and potatoes of the show, that I did watch the, uh, as per your uh, instruction, oh, I right. watched the Woodstock is... 99. Oh, no, I thought no. you were saying the Love is Blind reunion. No, I haven't gotten to that yet. Okay. <laughs> I'm so far behind on my TV you watching. I'm so busy. You forced me to watch that show. Then I yeah, got into it. Now you're not going to watch <laughs> the, the follow-up? No, I just want to watch the it's new season. It's not worth it, actually. Yeah, no, it, it's, it's all crap. Yeah. All those follow-up shows are crap. Mm-hmm. Except for 90 Day Fiance. They do have some good follow-up <laughs> shows on those because they start fighting. Don't get just, me started on that Yeah, okay. They, they got a good one on right now. Uh, I did watch the Woodstock 99 documentary. I do remember watching almost all all of that on MTV. I worked at a Chili's at the time as a bartender. So <laughs> Chili's. <laughs> While everyone else was crowd surfing in, you know, Utica, New York, New York, I was at Ithaca? Chili's. Not Unica. Uh, uh, Utica. 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 I thought it was Ithaca. Well, I don't think it's an Ithaca either. <laughs> I'm just making it up. <laughs> Wherever it was. Where, it's somewhere in New oh, York. Oh, Rome, New York, I think is actually where yeah, it was. Yeah, I think it was yeah. at the Air Force Base. The Air Force Base. That's yeah. right. At Rome, in Rome, it New York. It looked absolutely miserable. 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 And I remember hearing about it because this was happened in 99. That's when I was starting to take off and go see Widespread Panic. That's when your so, Widespread Panic career was taking yeah, off? Yeah, it was. And <laughs> I was like, you know, in college. And, and you were like, like, well, should I stop by and see Rage Against the Machine? No. I went out west. <laughs> yeah, good. You should. It, yeah, I, I went away from it, and I remember hearing about what a mess it was. We watched it all. Uh, we had uh, the the TVs behind the bars. You were we live had on playing MTV. It. <laughs> yeah, did it in, all for the nookie. <laughs> it was fucking insane. I mean, it looked horrible. The way that MTV, the women were being just, uh, you know, completely listen, mauled. Listen. It was an absolute shit show. It was the worst of humanity coming out. It's just mm-hmm. like it shows you that it's shit. It's like 99.9% white. Well, I want to say, I want to say this. Okay. Besides whatever color or race or creed or religion or whatever those people were, mm-hmm. shit rolls downhill. Mm-hmm. When the two guys at the top don't give a shit how you feel, your comfort, what you're paying, mm-hmm. your care or anything like that, when they don't give a shit. And then the conditions just absolutely there was an fucking literal suck. Literal fire, dumpster fire at the end. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, is like the two guys who put this on, they yeah. never, they never took into account anybody's care, anybody's no, consideration. It was a money grab. They had ten thousand people watching over seven hundred thousand people. Yeah, and did That's you see the, the security quote? On I'm doing air quotes. Security, security <laughs> that was there. The one guy that was on this that was giving a recount of it said, yeah, we went into a classroom and they gave us all the answers and then said, now you're security. Yeah. L- I listen, mean, security, please. It, it, secu- if I don't even it, watch the documentary. It's, it's absolutely fascinating and and appalling. Then let's take into account that, yes, it is a mostly white crowd, white young males, mm-hmm. and they decimate <laughs> the females that are in this crowd they absolutely tear them apart they are groping them grabbing them disrobing them raping them in some cases it is like the worst mm-hmm. of humanity right there on display and i wonder where these people are now like where are these guys who in their early to mid 20s were just like basically angry angry and they were so angry like, i mean i don't even care if like they're like just raping well, women, just tearing kid, them apart. And, and kids died. Remember the kid that was yeah, uh, kid going died. to see yeah. um, not Metallica. Megadeth, Metallica, yeah. Yeah. All, you, all he wanted to do was be in the mosh pit in Metallica. <sighs> and he died. But yeah, he did. they did do it all for the nookie. And then the Fred Durst, of course, didn't help. Right. Because <laughs> it's he's like, mm-hmm. They're telling him to settle down. And he's like, yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give me some of that bullshit bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> 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 Some worst music ever. What do they call that? The new rec, new rocker. Yeah. What do they call that? New uh, shit. New shit. No, they they had a word for it, like <laughs> something rock rap or whatever they were yeah. calling it. Like to, get, to identify these, basically like six bands who sucked. Kid Rock, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Fred Durst. <laughs> Just give me some of that. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, they broke down too. There was like the water fountains, and then the people like busted the the. Oh God. Yeah, I mean, they didn't do it. They didn't do themselves any favors. They busted the pipes open oh. with the porta potty. Thing. Yeah, they busted the pipes open, and, and people they, thought it was mud. They thought it was but mud. It was shit. <laughs> It was shit. People oh were sliding around and shit. Hey, listen. You know, when you're 20 and you're young, you can just slide around and shit and get, get away with it. Yeah, no. Now, I'm like, if it doesn't have air fucking conditioning no. and room service, yeah. I'm not a part of it. I don't want to be a part of it. I'm going to Menfo. I need a shower. Yeah. A I'm real a shower to, in a bathroom. I'm going to Menfo <laughs> yes. under duress. That's all I got to no, say. No, there's no camping at Menfo. Oh, so. well, thank God. Yeah. yeah. Thank God. <laughs> if I see one part of potty out of order there, I'm out. I'm seeing you later. No, they do a good job. We used to go to those parties in the woods, you know, every 4th of July and September. We'd go to these huge, you know, <laughs> parties in the woods. Yeah. That's all I can say about it, technically. <laughs> but you used to go to these huge parties. I can't you believe I would NDA. do that. Yeah, I signed an NDA. <laughs> I signed. You know what was the NDA? All the drugs that I took. That was the NDA. I guarantee I will not remember any of this. <laughs> they were like, you are sworn to secrecy, not to tell anybody where or when you went to woo. And you're like, yeah, whatever, dude. I'm in. Yeah, I'm in. Cool. It's in the woods Can I in bring- July, yeah. late July, sweet. Can I bring an entire trailer full of Bud Light with me? Yes, I can. Okay, don't worry. I won't. Mum is the word. <laughs> hey, where have you been for the last four days? <laughs> this all got me thinking about Woodstock 99. Got all got me thinking about my love for the following subject matter. Carnies, people who travel oh, on the road. Yes. Roadies, carnies, people mm-hmm. who... They've got a vagabond lifestyle. They got a vagabond lifestyle. They are uh, and and my one of my brothers is kind of like this. He works mm-hmm. on the movie sets, but he's like, you know, the, like these manual labor these guys and girls who are out there and mm-hmm. they just kind of like travel, travel the country back and forth mm-hmm. and they're doing their thing, right? Mm-hmm. And they live in in conditions we w- we probably wouldn't choose to live in mm-hmm. and they're doing work that we would probably not choose to do. Um but you know, they're working. Kimmy does that. She runs She's around. a carny? No. <laughs> She's she is a not a carny, but she works in the movie business, too, uh, and yeah, yeah, travels yeah, she around. Does. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And you know what? <laughs> She's a carny. She's a carny? <laughs> she could be. She is she a clown? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Kimmy Hunk. <laughs> I got her a uh, magician. I'm Kimmy the Clown. I got her a magician for one birthday. Oh, you got her a magician? Uh-huh. The kind that strips? No. No. Okay. <laughs> An actual magician. <laughs> for my younger brother's twenty first birthday. I I yeah, I don't I didn't think I don't think I knew you back then, but my little brother's twenty first birthday, I rent was renting a house with a guy and I said, Can I have my brother's twenty first birthday here? He says, Yeah, of course. <laughs> and so we invite about 200 people. We get kegs and a bartender and a couple liquor luges. I mean, we are just go, like all out yeah. on this thing. Slip and slide the whole nine yards, right? And I invited my dad and his girlfriend, <laughs> who was his wife at the time, invited my dad. And no, his wife now. His wife now. Sorry. Girlfriend at the time. Girlfriend wife at the time, now. wife now. <laughs> And they ended up like, I mean, these are the two of the straightest laced human beings you've ever seen in your life. They end up doing the liquor luge. And then I told my dad, you got to leave by midnight. Yeah. Like at midnight <laughs> is the like, witching Woo! hour. Yeah. The glass slipper comes off, dad. And I'm telling you what, it's going to be a shit show because two strippers walked in. And I'm not, I'm not talking about like the pretty kind of dainty little dancers. I'm talking like whips and shades kind of dancers. And they came in and they put on a show. And my dad, my dad and his girlfriend at the time stood there the whole time and they were like dancing yeah. to the music. Yeah, you kind of get into it. This is great entertainment. Enough flicker luge. Yeah. So it got me thinking about carnies. I've watched okay. a lot, a lot, a lot of lot of footage about carnies and i just wanted to pick a couple minutes and i wanted to go over it here on the commercial break as we talk about all things absurd and make it even more absurd you ready hey everybody i wanted to let you know that this episode is sponsored in part by our brand new sponsors fume f-u-m fume i wish fume was around when i was trying to kick the habit a number of years ago i smoked for so many damn years it's not even funny and when i was done when i knew i was done i really tried very hard to quit but it took a very long time i tried the patches i tried the nicotine gum I tried everything. I wish Fume was around. What is Fume, F-U-M? Let me explain. It is a handcrafted wooden inhaler. 
You stick a plant-infused core, it's got some all-natural oils in that core, into the inhaler, and then you take a drag. You take a pull off of it, just as you would a cigarette or a vape, and you get almost the same sensation that you would when you were smoking a cigarette or you were vaping. It's quite freaky, actually, how close to the real deal this is. And it's all natural, so you don't have to worry about toxic chemicals or nicotine going into your body. There is absolutely no fire, no smoke, no water vapor, no incendiary device, nada. It doesn't fire at all. It is just air running through the core, into your throat, down into your lungs. It gives you the same sensation, but with the benefits of all natural plant oils. Here's what you can do. You can go to www.breathefume.com. That's breathefum.com slash TCB and use the code TCB for 10% off your order today. Go to the website, you take a quiz, it takes less than 30 seconds, and they're going to tell you which plants are best for you or which plants you desire. It's a great website. It takes just a few seconds to figure out what you need, and then they send it directly to you. This is an all-natural way to quit smoking. This is an all-natural way for vape cessation. I swear, it's just like the real deal. Give it a try. TCB listeners can go to breathefume.com slash TCB and use the code TCB for 10% off. It supports our sponsors. It supports the show. It's all natural. Go check out that website, breathefume.com slash TCB, and make sure to use the code TCB. Tell them TCB sent you. Thanks, Fume. Guess who loves them some commercial break? Magic Spoon loves them some commercial break. I'd like to welcome them back as a sponsor to TCB. I have never gotten more questions or feedback about a product or service than I have about Magic Spoon. Why? Because I think everybody deep down is a little kid at heart and likes their cereal and they want to know, can it really be delicious if it's good for you? I want to give you a little story. About five months ago, before Magic Spoon came on as a sponsor, my wife and I were trying to find a cereal that wasn't so sugary and fatty that we could have. Well, she went to one of the name brand, you know, organic stores, bought some cereal. I don't know what it was called. It was cardboard. That's what it was called. It was called fucking cardboard. And it was disgusting, and we took two bites of it and threw the entire box away. I know that's wasteful, and we shouldn't have done it. We, I'm ashamed of myself. But that's the truth. Magic Spoon, however, is the exact opposite. It's good for you, and it tastes absolutely delicious. And my friends and family and those commercial break listeners who have tried it are backing me up on this one. Zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and only four grams of net carbs in each serving. Plus, it's only 140 calories. And if you're on the keto diet, the gluten-free diet, the grain-free diet, the soy-free diet, or the low-carb diet, Magic Spoon has you covered. Buy a variety pack. It comes with four flavors, cocoa, fruity, frosted, and peanut butter. That fruity flavor tastes honestly like cake. And you can mix them together if you want to. I like to mix the peanut butter with the cocoa, and it tastes like a peanut butter cup. Here is the deal. Magic Spoon, again, is offering the Commercial Break listeners $5 off your first order if you use the code TCB at checkout, and you go to the URL magicspoon.com slash TCB. Super easy. Go to magicspoon.com slash TCB and use the code TCB at checkout. Remember, when you use our codes and our URLs, it reminds our sponsors that we are doing our job and it helps the commercial break continue to do the show the way you love it, as frequently as you love it. Helps our sponsors and you get a discount. So go to magicspoon.com slash TCB and use the code TCB. Thank you, Magic Spoon, for giving me a cereal I can feel good about eating. How's your money feeling? It's about to feel happier with a certificate from Happy Money's partner, Michigan State University Federal Credit Union. Elevate and increase your savings with 18-month terms and only a $500 minimum. And the happiest part? MSU FCU certificates yield 4.5% APY annual percentage yield. Now that's a happier side of money. Elevate your savings. Go to happymoney.com slash MSUFCU. That's MSUFCU. Funds insured up to 250000 by NCUA. The APY is accurate as of the 12-1-2023 dividend declaration date. Early withdrawal penalties do apply. Fees may reduce earnings on the account. Any monthly withdrawals or transfers reduce earnings. Yes. Here we go. Let's Ready. learn. Let's take a day in the life of the Carnies. This is uh, Carney Life, which you can find on YouTube. I don't <laughs> think this is actually copyrighted in any way, shape, or form. But it's not an on TLC. It's not on TLC. You will okay. not find this on or any of the, the major force travel channel. <laughs> 
<laughs> Makes sense. Makes sense. That it would be on Travel Channel. Yeah, why uh, travel? <laughs> travel <laughs> Channel just has Bigfoot shows and ghost hunters all day long, which makes absolutely no sense for the Travel Channel. Yeah. But I guess then TLC is no longer the learning channel. Also, the ride foreman who are the bosses of the ride pretty much have their own trailers and that kind of stuff. They're talking about where they live. Okay, so they're this they're is in a, trailers. Yeah, they're in, they're talking <laughs> trailers or underneath trailers. Oh, yeah. Oof. They're, so these are these are a couple of uh, carnival guys, carnival workers that are showing you and talking to you about where they live when they're on the road. Mm. Then 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 the rest of help live in bunkhouses. We have we have portable portable living quarters for them that, that they live in. Bunkhouses have been with us a long time. When I first started out, I was there too, but I. Unlike most people, I took care of my area and made sure, you know, where I lived was clean. Well, I have my own living quarters, a, a bed, television, air conditioning, and everything's nice and set up. You know, when you first come out here, if there's a lot of people, there might not be room. But the owners never let you go hungry. You'll always have money in your pocket. You're always going to have cotton candy or popcorn at <laughs> <Yeah>. your disposal. <laughs> Nutritious food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You want a d- <laughs> deep fried Kit Kat turkey leg? Don't yes. worry about it. We got you covered. <laughs> What's amazing to me is, and what you can't see because you're, because we're listening, is the bunk houses are essentially tractor trailers that have you know the hollowed out tractor trailers mm-hmm. that have like ten to twelve different bunks, bunks that yeah. are sitting in the middle. So they're kind of like you know I don't know spread out amongst the yeah. tractor trailers. Is there air conditioning in these? Air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been to a carnival? <laughs> Have you ever been to a carnival? Uh, yeah, yes. no, there's no air conditioning. I don't even think I, well, they'll talk about it here in a second, but we'll get to it. But this guy, you know, he's got a little nice setup. He's got a TV and. He likes it. He likes it. Yeah, listen, better than jail. Yeah. Pocket. They always, you know, if you have nowhere to stay, they'll put you in a tent. They'll put you somewhere. So- they'll put you in a tent. Somewhere. They'll put you somewhere. Everybody's always, you know, taken care of out here, basically. We went from an outhouse to a mansion. It's got an awning. I never had an awning. I always wanted a front porch. No. This lady doesn't need much mm, to be happy. I know. Here's the thing. You know, it's, it's all I, relative. It gives me a giggle, right? It gives me a giggle to see this because it's just kind of funny. Like, I feel satirically it's funny. But then I think about it. And I'm like, this girl doesn't need much to be happy. She got an That's awning right. on her trailer and she thinks it's the best shit in the world. <laughs> it's, I guess that's all relative. If you're going from here to there. Yeah. It seems good. It's kind of like the commercial break, you know? Right. <laughs> Some people say, you have no listeners and your shit sucks. And we go, yeah, but you said I sure should have heard our first episode. <laughs> <laughs> Two is better than zero. Right. Now I got my TV antenna that really brings in every station real clear. <laughs> every station within three nautical miles. Yeah. <laughs> I come in real clear. <laughs> hey, they have made advances in technology on the... <laughs> They have. I get it right here on this TV. I have the Hills That's Channel. That's why we look so good. I know. Look at us. I have the Hills Channel 24 hours a day. The Hills. They made a channel about it. And it's on Air Come TV. On, Air TV. We got, we got a septic. On the other one, we, we didn't have that. We had a portable. <laughs> we didn't have that. It just shit just flew out the side yeah. of the trailer. What didn't? Wait. Wow. Oh, wait. Maybe they vacuum it? Party. Suck it out. We always had to go lugging. This, I can just have someone drive up and <laughs> suck it out. Shut up. In the old days. Uh, <laughs> shut up. Shut up, Sparky. That's <laughs> like you talking to Blue. I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just like this. In the image you can see, it's just this scraggly little dog. <laughs> he kind of kicks it aside. She's like, shut up. <laughs> I love it. I get 13 channels. Someone comes, sucks up the shit. Shut up, Sparky. <laughs> you dead Nick. Oh. If you used to live any place on the, you know... The, you know, go back 20 years, they live under the rides, any place they could. Where do you sleep? They Under the rides? Under the rides. Under the rides. I thought he was saying under the rise. No. You know, like the rides. Under the rides. Uh, rides. Yeah, so. Under the <sighs> rides, how does that provide much? It doesn't. Uh, it, it doesn't. <laughs> But now it's starting to all make sense. When I was a kid, I used to I'm go. I'm calling those, the fun house. <laughs> I used to go in those fun houses. And I swear to God, there were people underneath them making noises. Yeah, that's true. That's them. We slept in trucks. You know, in the possum bellies of trucks. The possum belly. Possum belly of truck. The possum belly of a truck. Huh. 
I didn't know there was a possum belly truck. Mm, always be learning. You know, nowadays everybody everybody has good living accommodations. And not not like it was years ago. I slept in trucks, slept on the ground, slept uh, in a tent, keep myself out of the weather. He slept on the tent. He didn't slip in the tent. He said he slept on the tent. You know, uh, this has got to be a really tough fucking life. Uh, uh, yeah. Can you imagine? <laughs> I'm trying to process it. <laughs> slept on the tent. So you slept on the tent. Like just as a ground covering or like up on top of the tent. It's better than sleeping underneath the ride, I suppose. I underneath the fun house. Back, back when I started in 90, we didn't have what you call bunk oh, houses. We had one bunk house. It had eight bunks in We didn't have what you called bunk houses. We had what you call a bunk house. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jim. Can you clarify? <laughs> What's the difference? It was not bunk houses. Well, one has an S on the end and the other one does not. One yeah. is plural and the other one is not plural. I before E except after C. Anybody that didn't stay clean, we'd throw them and their clothes out. Ah, good rule. Yeah, that's a good rule. I wonder which. But it's hard to say. I wonder clean. where the bar is exactly yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, too much patchouli. You gotta go. Yeah. Stuff like that. This is what All right. There's like two men rooms. The guys live in them. Uh, they pay fourteen dollars a week. That covers their electric and everything. There's showers. You know, they got a shower in this bunkhouse, a shower in that bunkhouse. This is bunkhouse shower. Speaking uh, fourteen dollars dollars a week. That sounds like a deal. It's actually, a bargain I'm in. Of the century. Hey, honey. <laughs> pack up the shithead little dogs. <laughs> And those two little chimps. We're in the circuit. We're on the <laughs> we're on the road. We're going on the road. <laughs> For fourteen dollars a week, we can live under the, the whatever this Ferris wheel of love on top of a tent. Yeah, who knows? You might fall in love with one of those roller coasters. That's where they take showers without water. The bunk house. That's where they take showers without water. That's what he just said. That's where huh. they take showers without water. The, like a dry shower powder? Yeah, a dry shower, like a French whore shower. A powder? Yeah, like you powder yourself, you put on a little fresh deodorant, throw okay. some patchouli on your hemp necklace. <laughs> yeah, you're good to go. You're good to go. You smell wonderful. <laughs> I was explaining in a previous episode that when I was a kid, I toured. I didn't tour. I went on. A, went to a couple of shows with fish, but I, I had someone had bought me a hemp necklace that I kept on my neck for like three years. It started to smell really bad. So when I would dance, they would clear a path for me. Here, I thought I was just the best dancer at the fish show. Getting down. I was like, look at me twirl. Look at my white boy boogie. <laughs> Meanwhile, it was your smell. Yeah, meanwhile, they're like, <laughs> patchouli force field. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing can penetrate the patchouli force it's field. It's a good way to get some room at a show, though. That's right. Yeah, just no. <laughs> fart a lot. I'm not really sure. It's kind of like a church. <laughs> right. When no one sits close to you, it's probably you. <laughs> I know you look at that like it's some kind of, it's what you make it. A guy I don't care isn't going to take care of it. But that that's not just the bunkhouses. That's about a house in Beverly Hills. If the guy don't care about his house, he, you know, and he clutters it, I mean, it's no different than anything else. Wow, he's waxing uh, philosophically. Poetic. Yeah, I mean, that is that is true. It doesn't matter Very whether you, true. Whether you live in a corner. What you make of it. It reminds me of Costa Rica when I, I've spent a lot of time in Costa Rica. <laughs> you and I went to Costa Rica. That's right, we did. So, uh -huh. you know, we have spent a lot of time in Costa Rica. You came down there with me for a couple that weeks. That was so fun. One of the things that one of my friend who lived there, and the reason why I was down there quite quite often, one of the things that he told me the first time I ever went to Costa Rica was, Costa Rica is a third world country. Most of it is extremely poor, but they are extraordinarily cleanly. They have a corner, a cement, you know, a cement box essentially as a house. That house will be impeccably clean. They will be impeccably dressed mm -hmm. because they care for the things that they have. So this guy makes a lot of sense here. He's waxing poetic. Whether you have a mansion or a box, it's it's true. How, you what take you care make of it. it. That's right. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at this studio here. <laughs> it's impeccable. It's impeccable. <laughs> It's a fire hazard is what it is. Where I live during the summer months, so I want to come show you guys how I live. Okay, this guy has a, this guy actually has a mansion. This guy has a really nice place. He's got one of those trailers, you know, with the couches and the satellite TV oh, and cool. the running water and he's he's showing he's off. He's styling. Yeah. Everyone everyone's <laughs> envious. Come on in. Got everything. Microwave, wash and dryer, refrigerator, oven. I think you want a, a 
Carmen on Wheels. Satellite dish. I get 400 channels. This is more channels he than I get on my TV. He does have a mansion. He does have a mansion. Yeah. He gets all the ladies. You know he's taking back all the Or men or whatever he's into. Yes. Uh, here. This is my upstairs washer dryer. It's one of them that washes and it dries after it's done washing. Wait, hold on. They have washers and dryers in one actual thing? Yeah, that's what he's saying. They can wash and then they can dry? Mm-hmm. That's a thing? <laughs> why are why would we ever do anything else? Yeah. Why do we have a washer and a dryer separate? Mm-hmm. Astrid! <laughs> so I go put something in, then I come back and it's done. My bathroom in there, shower, bed, um, laptop, Palm Pilot. I have all the creature comforts. The Palm Pilot? <laughs> the old Palm Pilot. The old Palm Pilot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm picturing it like... You I've know. also got a Palm Pilot. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll settle down. It's fireside. I've got to watch myself. <laughs> I'm picturing it kind of like, you know, the RV living. Yeah. Yeah. Where the bathroom doubles as a shower and... I've never lived in an RV, so I don't know. Me either, but, but I've been in a I've sweaty... I've been in a sweaty, sweaty RV <laughs> with a couple of my friends out in the woods. Uh. Yeah, you know, part of it was working, part of it wasn't. But yeah. it, wasn't, it wasn't there for a living. It was more there for... Drugs. <laughs> I mean, that's just we call it what it was. <laughs> but I have been to an RV show. Astrid and I actually went to an RV show, and man, they, oh, yeah, some of those the, RVs oh, are crazy. In the millions. Oh yeah, there's uh, millions of dollars, mm-hmm. and they open up pretty wide. Marble floors, marble, marble floors. floors. Some of them have fireplaces in them. Like yeah, they're really wow. nice. Ninety flat in, in, inch flat screen TVs that are embedded into the wall, yeah. and then you know the seat that you drive in gives you a massage. It's a whole thing. <laughs> yes, it's really really nice. These people are living, <laughs> most of them, not living it's in million-dollar trailers. This is different. <laughs> this is different. It's different. It's more like a box with two wheels on it that gets yeah. pulled around town. <laughs> Except for one guy who does have that really, really nice trailer uh-huh. that has more advanced technology in it than I do. Because I don't have a washer that then turns into a dryer. No. How do you do that? How is that even functional? This is my mansion right here. This is my mansion. My home away from home. This is a box he's pointing to, by the way. I'm just letting you know this. It's a painted box. Y'all have a nice day. I sit here and I meditate. I look at the sun, catch a few rays, and spend my morning in peace and quiet before all the chaos starts. I wouldn't let you... Before all six people show up and want to ride my ride. (laughs) When's the last time you went to a crowded carnival? <laughs> I think like 30 years ago. Yeah, I don't think I, I don't think I've been to a crowded <laughs> carnival in a long time. Yeah. I've been to a state fair that's crowded. Well, the state fairs. State yeah. fairs are different. Yeah. Those are like a step above the carnival. Oh, they are. Oh yeah, I, my in the opinion. Hierarchy? In the hierarchy of carnivals, the state fair is really where you want to be. If you're looking to work your way up the carnival ladder, you want to be at a state fair. Is you know or. Yeah. One of those permanent carnivals. Right. Like the kind in Orlando, the ones that like set up shop there and now they're just and attached to the ground. You look inside, but then I wouldn't have no ladies to come to my house. So y'all get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I would have you look inside, but there's some women chained up in the back and I don't want them <laughs> screaming too loud and alerting the authorities. <laughs> Yeah, it has nothing to hide. Uh, no, sorry, Bob. I would let you inside the house, but my porn collection is rather large. It's kind of blocking the entrance. I don't have a DVD. I just like to look at the covers, if you know what I mean. Doesn't take this old bird dog long. He's got a Palm Pilot, so do I. If you know what I mean. I love people who say, if you know what I mean. Anybody who says... Same. As come as, get you some come of this. Come get you some of this. <laughs> Same people. Come get if you, you know what I mean. Yeah, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Anybody who says, if you know what I mean, after they're saying it, yeah. you clearly don't understand what they're saying. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? He didn't want people to come in because... <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Are you understanding what I'm saying? I, I, I say that did. to Astrid all the time. I kind of didn't. I yeah. just wanted to see uh, what you thought. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> how did you feel about that last sentence? It's still under review in my head. I'm wondering how it played out in right. yours. <laughs> 
it felt a little sideways coming out of my mouth, but then I thought, well, I pulled it together nicely. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I started to think it sounded a little ridiculous that you can't come inside because then future women wouldn't be allowed. But then when I said it, I don't know, it sounded profound. How you know what did I mean? you feel about it? You know what I mean? Uh, do you want me to do it again? Because, I mean, I can do it without the you know what I mean. And we just assume that everybody understood what I said. I don't know. That's a, You make that call. Editorial. Right, uh, editorial, right. uh, whatever you call it. Editors. Editor's choice. <laughs> Dealer's choice. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode of the commercial break. We'll be right back. <laughs> All right. Hello, Fresh. Uh, yeah, Hello, Fresh. <laughs> this episode sponsored in part by Hello, Fresh. <laughs> the favorite of parties everywhere. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's so much fun oh man <laughs> we should have hung it up the last episode all right let's get into some more carny activity here's the carnies on the broadway what they call the broadway where all the games are oh yeah i think that's what they call it you know what i mean <laughs> shakedown street you know what i mean it's shakedown street is right listen to this i want you to win something tonight I can see winner wrote in your. I want you to win something tonight, and that something includes a trip to my trailer. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, this is a guy standing in the Broadway trying to convince people to play his game. Wise, buddy, come on. I want you to try. All you got to do is pop me one balloon. Come on, Dad. Come on. I got a deal for you, man. The people behind. It sounds more like a drug deal than I it know. does an actual carnival deal. game. First one's free. I got a deal for you. Two teeners for a dollar. <laughs> Pop two balloons, I'll give you an extra big teddy bear. You know what I mean? Them counter. Teddy bear is code for meth. Are to sell the teddy bears. They're to get you to play the concession as many times as they possibly can. And uh, that's how they get their money. That's a percentage. Here we go. Here we go. We got a winner right here. I can see it in your eyes, darling. Come on. I want you to win something here tonight. Come. Meanwhile, he's saying darling to a seven-year-old girl. Yeah. He's like, you're a winner in my eyes, girl. I was going to say, if I ever do frequent a carnival show, which I probably won't, but if I no. do in the future, I, you know, I'm just going to go with some money to spare and just... Hand it take to the, care of take them care more. of the guys. Yeah. yeah. Well, listen, there. Yeah, that's a hard life. It if, is. If a you got to live off of the money that you make. Yeah. Because let's face it, no one wants to play the carnival games. They know that they're all rigged, rigged. and yeah. you know, even though they say they're not, they clearly are. Yes. The, the, it's like the claw. Yeah. And what you're doing <laughs> is like the claw. That fucking claw. <laughs> that fucking, that fucking claw. claw gets. Really I was gonna. Tough. I was gonna. Oh, ah, dropped it. Ah, shit. Dropped it. Speaking of claw, I watched a video clip. I, uh, and by the way, if this is your first time tuning in, I often make little side notes that last for five to ten minutes. So you feel <laughs> free to go get a beer at this point. This is like the bad song at the concert. Um, <laughs> go get a beer. Use the restroom. So uh, the claw I was watching in Qatar, they have a claw that has stacks Gold. of hundred dollar oh, bills. Okay, Gold. Uh, brand new iPhones, all kind of uh, Apple luxury TVs, items. luxury items, right? And one of the videos I was watching, this guy letter- literally knocked over four or five <laughs> stacks of hundred dollar bills into the box where he won it. Wow! Yeah, and he said he won like fifteen thousand dollars, and I'm like, holy potatoes! That's Damn, awesome. that's different than the Chuck E. Cheese I used to go to. Yeah, that Chuck E. Cheese just gave me <laughs> tickets that amounted to nothing. <laughs> Who has twenty five thousand tickets, Chuck E. Cheese? <laughs> By the way, we'll get into this. Uh, I have some – in a future episode, I have some edited audio of guys who do that at, for a living. Oh, they right. go to Chuck E. Cheese and Dave and & Buster's and stuff like that and do for the tickets. a living. They do the tickets and then they sell the items that they win. They basically <laughs> game the games. Okay. But you listen, you're not winning anything at a carnival except for a bear that costs 50 right. cents from China. <laughs> right. <laughs> that instead of Mickey Mouse, it says Icky Ouse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who wants an icky ass? <laughs> I do, I do. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? I do. Here we go. Come on. I want you to win something tonight. That's the guy's job. That is his, truly his job is to get as much money out of you as possible. Doesn't make him a bad guy. 
doesn't make him a bad guy. It oh. just makes him kind of a con man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> By the way, this is the manager what he has to. of the carnival that is saying this. Oh, okay. Yeah. His job is to get as much money out of you as possible, if up to and including taking your wallet directly out of your pocket. It doesn't make him a bad guy. It just makes him kind of a slippery character, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> These guys have a tough life, man. Yeah. I mean, a tough life. Can you imagine only <sighs> eating what you kill and that kill and that game that you're playing? It's similar is, to radio sales. Say, <laughs> <laughs> we, about we the same amount of money. Yeah. <laughs> With about the same amount of money. The outcomes are similar. People walk by and I ask them, hey, or I tell them, hey, you're ready. Come on in. Let's 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 get you one right here. You got your girl. You got your prize. Let's get her one. You know. You're ready. I. I, I you're I, ready. <laughs> you're ready. I see you, man. You got that glow. I call it. I call it the fish in the bowl glow. <laughs> <laughs> I know you need it. <laughs> <laughs> That's I right. call it that dart in the balloon glow. <laughs> you've been <laughs> you've been bred for this, son. You were Get born. Your girl one. Yeah. I've been waiting. the The oracle told me it would happen. <laughs> the oracle told me a man would walk by your carnival stand, and he would have the glow of the man that could beat any carnival game out there. Yeah, <laughs> they call him Carnival Man. <laughs> so it's about five dollars. You got? Uh, what do you think? <laughs> Uh, well, now that now that you blew smoke directly in my ass, I guess I'm in. Yeah, I've got the glow. No, things like I got the glow. Got the glow. <laughs> How's your money feeling? It's about to feel happier with a certificate from Happy Money's partner, Michigan State University Federal Credit Union. Elevate and increase your savings with 18 month terms and only a $500 minimum. And the happiest part? MSU FCU certificates yield 4.5 percent APY annual percentage yield. Now that's a happier side of money. Elevate your savings. Go to happymoney.com slash MSUFCU. That's MSUFCU. Funds insured up to 250000 by NCUA. The APY is accurate as of the 12-1-2023 dividend declaration date. Early withdrawal penalties do apply. Fees may reduce earnings on the account. Any monthly withdrawals or transfers reduce earnings. Looking for a fun way to win up to 25 times your money this basketball season? Test your skills on Prize Picks, the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. Just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projected stats, and place your entry. You could turn $10 into $250. Right now, Prize Picks will match your first deposit up to $100. Just visit prizepicks.com/fan and use code FAN. That's code FAN at prizepicks.com/fan. Must be present in certain states. Visit prizepicks.com for restrictions and details. How's your money feeling? It's about to feel happier with a certificate from Happy Money's partner, Michigan State University Federal Credit Union. Elevate and increase your savings with 18-month terms and only a $500 minimum. And the happiest part? MSU FCU certificates yield 4.5% APY annual percentage yield. Now that's a happier side of money. Elevate your savings. Go to happymoney.com slash MSUFCU. That's MSUFCU. Funds insured up to 250000 by NCUA. The APY is accurate as of the 12-1-2023 dividend declaration date. Early withdrawal penalties do apply. Fees may reduce earnings on the account. Any monthly withdrawals or transfers reduce earnings. Like that. Anything to make them smile or get them a laugh out, try to get them in and have some fun with the game. Hey, you're ready. Come on. Knock them off one time, you can get the pretty lady anything she wants on the inside. This is what we call a water game. It is considered either a level water game or a trade-up. What I mean by that, the more the people I get in, the bigger the prize is. $3 a race, $3 a chase. Step on up, step on in, pick up a gun, give it a whirl, give it a twirl. First one to the top automatically wins. Win your sweetie, a tweety, your honey, a bunny. How about that teddy bear for that love affair? Whoa. Wow. That Look took at practice. That. That's like an idiot savant of that uh, took car- practice. That took practice. This is the lady who takes her job seriously, yeah. right? Give it a twirl, give it a swirl. A tweety, there's a tweety for your sweetie. <laughs> if you get sticky, you get a Mickey. Come on down <laughs> if you want to go around. Get to the top when the balloon pops, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was some. Yip, yip. <laughs> yip, yip, yip. Yip, yip, yip. Come on and win a teddy bear. <laughs> yip, yip, yip. <laughs> 
<laughs> I can hear the Otter Man now. <laughs> <laughs> that girl had it practice, man. She, she had it down. She did. Yeah. Yes, the boss is gone today, so we're going to give them all away. Any size, any price, your choice, the very first time. Yes, I don't tell you what you get. I ask you what you want. It's like Burger King. It's made your way the very first time. It's like Burger King made your it way the is. very first time? Yeah. <laughs> so I guess here they're doing like one. It also one sounded of... like a drive through yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a draw, give it a whirl. Five dollars make you holler. You'll scream and yell that you lost another five dollars. Come on over here, sir. You look like the kind of guy who never loses a carnival game. You got that glow. I've been doing this for 30 years, and I've never seen a glow on a man like you. Clearly, you've been practicing. Get to the top if you make it pop. Don't worry, we don't make it stop. If you pick your bear, come on right here. Come here, sir. Don't you want to? You don't let your little lady go home without a 30 cent bear from Afghanistan. <laughs> sir, you look like the kind of man who gets engaged at a carnival. Come on over. Come on over and pick yourself out a ring. If you can make it swing, I'll give you a ring. That's right. Get engaged right here at the carnival. Come over here and let me get you, guess your weight. You've got the glow. <laughs> You've got the glow of a thousand Dunkin' Donuts. Come on over here, sir. <laughs> glazed. You look a little glazed, sir. Yeah, I'll guess your weight. You guess how many bags of meth. <laughs> I've had to snort to stand here all day long. We'll call it a we'll call it even Stevens. <laughs> step right up, step right up. <laughs> Let's get back to the action on the Broadway. Yeah. There used to be a lot of illegal games in the carnival business. But we took care of all that yesterday. <laughs> yeah, right. But we took care of all that tomorrow. Right. <laughs> there used to be a lot of illegal carnival games, but we took care of that Not tomorrow. Not anymore. Yes. On July 22nd. What day is it? 23rd? <laughs> yeah. On July 27th, I meant. <laughs> all illegal carnival games are illegal. <laughs> we actually rob the people. You rob them without a gun. You rob them by trickery. Now, when you rob somebody back then, you took their paycheck, you took their rent money, you took their car payment. Naturally, you've, you've made an enemy. Now, their car payment? And now we just take their women and their cars. <laughs> we don't take the car payment, we actually take the vehicles. I, I, guess, I guess it's a form of gambling. So Step right up, step right up. You look like the kind of man who would gamble his car on this teddy bear right here, sir. What kind of car do you drive? Ford Nissan Tora? <laughs> yes, sir. Leave your keys right here and shoot your eye right into the ear. <laughs> Look at your lady. She's all upset she doesn't have, <laughs> have a $3 icky house. Did you say Mickey Mouse? I said icky house for legal reasons, sir, but it looks exactly like Mickey Mouse minus the ears and one eyeball. <laughs> Don't mind the fact that its leg has come off. This is its third trip around South Carolina. <laughs> South Kekalaki. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, man. This guy, by the way, this guy is just telling oh. it like it is. He says, we used to rob you directly. Yeah. Now we rob you indirectly. <laughs> <laughs> we used to rob you directly and we made enemies. Now we rob you indirectly and we're making friends. Now Left and right. Sneaky. Yeah. You know what? We've really turned the feelings around. Yeah. We've really turned the sentiment <laughs> so around about carnival campaign. games. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the U National United Carnival Game Workers Association got together and said, we need a PR campaign that really, yep. yeah. We don't steal from you anymore is our new tagline. <laughs> carnival <laughs> games. We won't fuck you. <laughs> carnival games. <laughs> Never mind, it's fire sound. I gotta watch what I say. <laughs> that is a thing of the past. We want to come back to the same spots because that's our route. We want to treat the people nice. We want them to get their money's worth. We want them to have a good time. All you gotta do here is bust a balloon and just trade smaller prizes up for larger prizes. Pretty easy. 
It's called a trade up, is what they call it <laughs> oh. in, in the. Yeah, I've watched enough carnival videos to know it's called a trade up. So you, I didn't you, know you could trade up. You can trade up. So you say, okay. oh, uh, you well, if for another f- icky yeah. ouse, <laughs> the icky tra- fouse, yeah, <laughs> you could take the icky, the icky souse, <laughs> the trade icky. it in for the Ronald Buck, <laughs> for the Ronald fuck. <laughs> so what you do is you spend five dollars and you didn't win the game, and then he says, well, that's okay. Here's a little bear, right? I'll give you a little bear. Tell you what, spend another five dollars, no matter if you win or if you don't win you can trade in the small one i'll give you the bigger one oh. and then you say oh you really want the big big one here's the deal give me ten dollars give me the medium size one back it doesn't matter if you win or if you don't win i'll give you that <laughs> you one for your little down. lady i got it down <laughs> that's what i i'm i'm thinking about I my retirement plan the car that's now. right i want to i'm thinking about my podcast retirement plan <laughs> Since, you know, the podcasters union pays so much, I'm figuring how, you know, how are we going to retire in our old age? I'm just going to travel around the country as a carny. Mm -hmm. My kids can come visit me there. So, um, so that's how it works. Now, here's the, here's the reality. The small little stuffed animals, they literally cost 20 cents. There are children somewhere, you know, in horrible conditions making Making these things. yeah. Yeah. They cost nothing to make. And so it doesn't matter if you win or if you lose. The yeah, game used it's, to be. It's, it's the it's the pool. It's the yes. bait. Yes, that's the bait. the bait. That's right. It used to be that they would steal your money because the games would be one hundred percent rigged right. and almost no one could win them except for them, or they would have a shill come up and that shill would play the game a certain oh, way, and, and you, they'd be like, "Oh, he won. I guess I can win right. too." Clearly, it's not right. right. But the prizes were real. They mm. were stuff you actually wanted, but yeah. you'd never win them. Yeah. Now they said, well, let's just steal your money a different way. <laughs> let's just give you shit Fantastic. you never want, but looks pretty sitting up there. Well, let's just give you shit you never want. It doesn't matter how you play the game because I can make money on this all day long. If I give if I give you a 50 cent toy or a dollar cent toy and, I, and you spend five bucks. Five bucks, by the way, is a lot of money to spend on a carnival game, isn't mm-hmm. it? Doesn't it feel yeah. like? Mm-hmm. I feel like I could you could play a, a <laughs> carnival game for a dollar. When, or maybe, am I just yeah, old? Yeah, I'm thinking dollar. Am I just old? <laughs> I think we are old. I but. remember Woodstock 99. Half our audience wasn't born in 99. Easy game. Even if you don't win, you still get a prize over here. It's a nice one, ain't it? Hey, buddy. Here, if you can't win, I'll just give your lady a prize. I ain't that busy today. <laughs> yeah, ain't that busy, so I'm not making any money, so I'll give more of my yeah, money away. Exactly. <laughs> that sounds like a perfect a logical ex- explanation. Yes, yeah, so I'm in a I'm in a generous mood. I've lost all my life <laughs> savings this afternoon. So why don't I just give some more of it away to you, sir? <laughs> I figure why not? It's all over at the end of the day. <laughs> I'm gonna drink my sorrows into a bottle of wild turkey. You know what I mean? <laughs> $5 right now. Five dollars. Okay, right I'll here. tell you what. I'll start you off by the teddy bear, but it's a build-up game. The more shots you hit, the bigger your prize. All right? I'll tell you what. Spin the five. I'll tell you what. Spin the five. Watch what I'll do for you, big guy. I have no money in my wallet. You have no money in your wallet. I'm not joking. Big guy. That was just bad, bad Where's your friend at? Maybe he can help you out. We're friends of four. <laughs> Sounds exactly like some weed hey. dealers. Yeah. <laughs> I used to Ryan. deal with it. <laughs> Yeah. Ryan, I'm hey. here at the Busta Balloon. Yeah. I really need to. I'm being held hostage at the Busta Balloon. You got a $5? <laughs> Can you spell me a fiver? Like a, yeah, one time I went to Tijuana and the cops were like, well, where's your friend? Yeah. Oh, you're going to jail. Uh, I was like, ah, I don't really have any friends. I don't know if you noticed. Uh, yeah, this is total like highway oh robbery. This is awful. Just like you cringe just <laughs> listening to this. But this is how these guys make a living. It's uh-huh. how they have to do it. Yeah. But this does remind me of a weed dealer that I used to have once. Yeah. He'd be like, man, you ain't got an extra $10 on you? And I'd be like, no. <laughs> All right, well, here, I'm going to give it to you. And then you owe me 20 later. And I'd be like, but I didn't really want that. I said, you owe me 20 later. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. I'll get that 20 to you. It's 30 if you don't get it to me by Wednesday. <laughs> Make sure you call me again. Come here. You step to the mic. Come here. When you go to the car lot and you want to buy a $5,000 car, and before you leave, you bought a $20,000 car. Well, <laughs> yeah, that does happen. Kind of similar. Yeah. At the carnival, it's the same theory. You come, you say, well, I only want to spend $5 because it's only $5 to play. Well, before you leave, you done spent $20. When you get home, <laughs> you scratch your head a little bit, and uh, you're happy. See, I just gave my car away. 
<laughs> just gave my car away. I love this game. I love this guy's comparison game is strong. Uh, yeah. His anecdote game is strong. Yeah. He says, it's kind of like the car lot. You go there, you want to buy a $5,000 car. You got that red car picked out and you end up spending $20,000 on the Porsche. You know what I'm saying? But well, you're happy. It's exactly the same when you come to the carnival. You want that one teddy bear that costs $5. You end up spending $600 on the carnival games because they hold you hostage. You and your friends. You get home. <laughs> you're all black and blue from being beat up by the carnies. And then you go, well, I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy. It's nothing like going to the car lot. No. I don't go to the carnival going, ah, I'm going to, I don't maybe. go to the carnival. Well, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I don't, <laughs> do you ever go to Six Flags and say, I'm going to go play a bunch of carnival games? No. No. I did no, used no, to no. when I was younger though, but now I'm all about the roller coasters. Yeah. <laughs> You're all about <laughs> staying out, staying on the roller coasters. Yeah. yeah me too. Uh, and you know what the thing is now that I have children and they, that's what I, I, you well, know what I like used about to give me a, like a like here's ten dollars. Yeah, go yeah, for yeah, it. yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, I always ask for more because I would blow it. But that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <you got> <laughs> See, there you go. But maybe that they, they really were allocating me twenty, but they gave me ten to yes. start with, and then if I came back for more than I knew that was it. Yeah, you knew that was it. They yeah. they were game. That's what I like, and I don't like. What I don't like about Disney World is it's so fucking expensive. Yeah. I mean, you spend ten thousand dollars there for a family of four to go for a day. Yeah, it's crazy, and it's not getting any cheaper. By the way, they are making it an extreme. Extremely premium exclusive product, right? Yeah. They are charging more. They are sending less people in the front door. They are charging way more than they ever did before. But you don't get highway robbed by all the carnival games like you do at Six Flags or other places, right? Yeah. So what I figure is I'm spending the same amount of money. I'm just not <laughs> spending true. it on Icky House. I'm spending it on Mickey Mouse. The real license. That's it. Right. That's right. All right. I got more carny content, but I spent oh, yeah. too much time talking about Woodstock 99. So I don't know what else I can do. We'll get back to it on another episode of The Commercial Break. Let me tell you how to do it. Let me tell you what I'm going to do. Ready? Ready for my spiel? (laughs) Yeah. Here we go. You know what I mean? (laughs) You know what I mean? I do. Go to tcbpodcast.com. You know what I mean? Do. Okay. Do. You're going to listen to all the audio. You're going to watch all the video all from one place. You'll find out more about Christy and I. You can read all the show notes if that's what you're into. (laughs) <laughs> at the commercial you know what I mean and at that's the, what you and that's what it is yeah. come over here where's your friend <laughs> does your friend have any money <laughs> does your friend have any he looks rich where's your friend <laughs> he's got that glow yeah. you don't anymore <laughs> He does. Can I get a dime bag? Sure. Here's a pound. You owe me five hundred dollars. I don't want a pound. I said five hundred dollars by Tuesday. Where's your friend? Go sell it to him. <laughs> Thank God I was never a drug dealer. I would have been really bad at that. (laughs) Really bad at that. (laughs) Uh, At The Commercial Break on Instagram, please go ahead and join us. We don't have fake followers. That's all you got to know. We don't have fake followers yet. We don't have fake followers yet. yet. There you go. Not yet. Uh, And www.youtube.com slash The Commercial Break to watch all of this on video. Please subscribe. In episode number 85, if you watch all the way through, you'll notice that toward some part of the video, there are little clues, like weird, weird words that are on the screen. You'll, you'll get what I'm saying. Write those weird words down, because I'm going to ask a question on episode number 100, and if you get the answer, it's not going to be hard to answer. If you get the answer right, you'll email us, and then when you email us, you'll be entered in to win our next Commercial Break Grand Prize. And when did this start, Brian? Just Epi- so in case people are listening for the first time. Episode 85. A- 85, okay. At 85. Episode number 85. So you got to go YouTube. on YouTube. So mm-hmm. go and watch the episodes. I know you're doing a lot of homework at this point, but let us let me give you another little hint since we're getting close. I'll give you a hint. You may not have to watch every single video in order to get the answer. You know what I'm saying? I'm not uh, making you know it that I'm hard. Saying. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Come get you some yeah. of this. But if you'd like to be entered in to win our next grand prize, which is grand, by the way, we don't, we don't, we're not cheap around here. We're not going to give you. We don't have any one. icky houses. We don't have any icky houses. <laughs> we're straight up Mickey Mouses. I'm yeah. going to get a cease and desist from Disney tomorrow. I guarantee you. <laughs> Wait, Cuban's on the Disney network. Can't, he can, he can help me out. Yeah. Hey, Mark, help. need your help. <laughs> I'm in Mickey, I'm in icky house jail. <laughs> Can you help me out with a cease and desist? <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> Brian Green? Uh, How did know, you get my number? That guy you met in Nashville. Uh, the guy I met in Nashville. Yeah, amongst others. Uh, so anyway, so if you want to be entered into win, you can do that. 470-584-8449 is the phone number. If you'd like to be on the commercial break as a part of the commercial break, Fireside Chat. Download it. 
and uh, soon we'll be uh, interacting Chrissy with Chrissy Bransford, Brian, Brian Green. Green. You'll see the TCB logo. And lots of people are following me on Fireside. Right. So I know the message is getting through. There you go. I need to do that. Yeah. Let me get on. <laughs> <laughs> get follow me. Yeah, you need to get You need to follow me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, and then what you can do is you can text message us 470-584-8449 if you'd like to be a part of a future show. Uh, we are taking phone calls now. Not yeah. in this episode we didn't, but you know. Yeah, in future. This is still kind of a little practicey. Yeah, we're a little practicey on both, on Fireside and the phone <laughs> calls. So that's why we're not yeah. we're not overdoing it. We're not going crazy. <laughs> uh, because content and our time is precious, and we want to make sure that we don't lose it out there into the ethos. So... That's it. That's all I got to say. What else can we do today, Chrissy? I think that's it. And you think that's it. This is how this goes. I love you, Chrissy. I love you, Brian. And we love you out there in the we podcast universe. You. Best to you, Chrissy. Best to you, Brian. And best to you out there in the podcast audience. And until next time, we must say bye. bye. The commercial break. New episodes on Tuesdays and now Fridays. New YouTube clips drop daily at YouTube.com slash the commercial break. Visit tcbpodcast.com for access to our entire media library. Follow us at The Commercial Break on Instagram. Each episode is written and produced by Brian Green, co-hosted by Chrissy Hoadley, with additional content provided by Tina Cano. So the show will start in a few minutes. There's a couple minutes of music and lead up. And then, uh, and then we go from there. So if, uh, thanks for joining. If you want to listen, please feel free to. And uh, yeah, what else I got to say? That's it. No one wants to hear me talk. <laughs> <laughs> no one else is in the room, actually. Okay, good. Well, then no one's here. Then it's that no old Wade bot. Yeah. <laughs> that old Wade but He makes it look like there's somebody in there. <laughs> he does. Yeah. I think we have to do this a little bit before people start actually showing up. Yeah. And there's still a relatively small crowd out there. So, I mean, in general, on the app. Okay, so we're going to start the show. Um, Here we go. How's your money feeling? It's about to feel happier with a certificate from Happy Money's partner, Michigan State University Federal Credit Union. Elevate and increase your savings with 18-month terms and only a $500 minimum. And the happiest part? MSU FCU certificates yield 4.5% APY annual percentage yield. Now that's a happier side of money. Elevate your savings. Go to happymoney.com slash MSUFCU. That's MSUFCU. Funds insured up to $250,000 by NCUA. The APY is accurate as of the 12-1-2023 dividend declaration date. Early withdrawal penalties do apply. Fees may reduce earnings on the account. Any monthly withdrawals or transfers reduce earnings. Looking for a fun way to win up to 25 times your money this basketball season? Test your skills on Prize Picks, the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. Just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projected stats, and place your entry. You could turn $10 into $250. Right now, Prize Picks will match your first deposit up to $100. Just visit prizepicks.com/fan and use code FAN. That's code FAN at prizepicks.com/fan. Must be present in certain states. Visit prizepicks.com for restrictions and details. How's your money feeling? It's about to feel happier with a certificate from Happy Money's partner, Michigan State University Federal Credit Union. Elevate and increase your savings with 18-month terms and only a $500 minimum. And the happiest part? MSU FCU certificates yield 4.5% APY annual percentage yield. Now that's a happier side of money. Elevate your savings. Go to happymoney.com slash MSUFCU. That's MSUFCU. Funds insured up to $250,000 by NCUA. The APY is accurate as of the 12 1 2023 dividend declaration date. Early withdrawal penalties do apply. Fees may reduce earnings on the account. Any monthly withdrawals or transfers reduce earnings.
How's your money feeling? It's about to feel happier with a certificate from Happy Money's partner, Michigan State University Federal Credit Union. Elevate and increase your savings with 18-month terms and only a $500 minimum. And the happiest part? MSU FCU certificates yield 4.5% APY annual percentage yield. Now that's a happier side of money. Elevate your savings. Go to happymoney.com slash MSUFCU. That's MSUFCU. Funds insured up to $250,000 by NCUA. The APY is accurate as of the 12-1-2023 dividend declaration date. Early withdrawal penalties do apply. Fees may reduce earnings on the account. Any monthly withdrawals or transfers reduce earnings.